All right, guys, uh, we're going to talk about a 90-day fast track. Uh, this is the fastest way to build your Market America and your unfranchised business. Um, with anything, uh, it takes the right people to be successful. Uh, and the best way to do that um, is to commit to yourself and commit to doing this program. So this is uh, taking all the guesswork out of it for you. This is a roadmap to success. This is where the rubber hits the road. Um, so as we go through this, I'm going to cover how it works. Uh, what we're looking for um, and if you're ready to go just commit to it and we'll get started so the way to achieve your goals is to find the right people um, you know we say it all the time um, you know the difference between you, know, you being successful and not is is finding the right people to work with so we are not convincers uh, we are sorters uh, we need to get belly to belly with a lot of people talk to them find out what they're looking for in their lives and seeing if we have the answer for them uh, people who are ready uh, we will draw them to us and those people will work with to help you be successful so we know what works and what doesn't we've been doing this a long time um, we know that it's much easier to build this business fast than it is slow. Uh, we have to get and stay in momentum, and the best way to do that is commit to the fast track. It's a 10-3-2. stands for contact 10 people a day, book three appointments, and add two possibilities to your list. And all in all, that doesn't really seem like a, a lot, and, and it's really not when you break it down into those very basic fundamentals, and that's what we help you do. It's all about staying consistent though um, it's measurable it's accountable um, and you either simply do it or you don't so the person who's successful simply does what the person who's unsuccessful is unwilling or unable to do and all we have to do is commit to doing these basic things and this is how we'll guarantee your success so um, there's a lot of other resources as well on unfranchisetraining.com the username is distributor the password is go now and um, there's a lot of downloadable resources we'll talk about um, fundamentals never change. Dynamics do change. Uh, more choices is more confusion. There is a lot that we can talk about with this business. But really the best product and the best service that we have in our business is our unfranchised business plan. We need to learn how to show the plan. We need to learn how to talk about the plan. And we need to get in front of a lot of people to show them really the tools that we have for them to be able to make huge changes in their, in their lives uh, and the lives of other people. So... Um, you know, th there is uh, a lot going on, but we really got to get back to the fundamentals of what's called the basic five. Uh, the basic five, the follow up, and the ABC pattern um, is what's going to allow us to really make uh, big changes very quickly. Um, but number one thing we got to do is we got to start with our reason why. You know, why did we start this business and, and why are we um, going through this? So, um, you know, in addition to the reason why, we've got to stay to what. What, what drove us to start with Market America? What allowed us to make that decision that we wanted to you know, control our future, have time freedom, have financial freedom, um, in addition to helping people? Um, in addition to that, the number one reason why people stop is they just they listen to someone else's negativity. Um, and you're not here to, to take someone else's reasons or you know, have, have them project you know, what their reasons for, for being comfortably miserable are. Uh, ignore them. Uh, you know. Uh, move on from that so all right philosophy here uh, momentum um, with momentum we want to talk uh, to you know your people and your partners people the first 90 days is critical and it's definitely a numbers game when you're working with new people and new distributors so with the fast track again we're gonna talk to 10 people a day we're gonna book three appointments a day we're gonna leverage our time we're booking these three appointments or either to show the plan or to sell a product um, and then we're gonna add two names a day to our possibility list so here are the mechanics we're gonna work for five days per week we're gonna use the weekend to catch up and get organized and reset um, any days that we fall short of hitting that 10 3 2 uh, we are gonna try to double up um, and uh, the time period um, we're gonna do this for 90 days guys so we all know that consistency is key uh, we gotta have a goal with a deadline uh, we got to be disciplined, we got to stay focused, and we got to be accountable. So uh, we are going to be uh, using our Facebook group to hold each other accountable. Um, feel free to post um, every day what you did and what you didn't do. 
um, you know, have other people hold you accountable. If you had a great appointment or you talked to a good possibility or you even met someone you think would be a great business partner, make sure you share that because um, that's going to help motivate your, not only yourself but the rest of the team as well. So, um, all right, so here's our momentum sheet. You'll have this downloadable. A lot of us like to use paper to keep track and stay organized. What we're going to do is use this momentum sheet here to mark down what we did and what we didn't do. Uh, keep track of it as we go through because people tend to get lost in the shuffle sometimes. We want to make sure we put all that effort into talking to that person, booking the appointment. We want to make sure we follow up with them uh, to stay on track. Keeping people in the funnel and following up with them is very important. Um, this is a long game. You know, some people, timing is everything. And if timing is not right, that doesn't mean, you know, we scratch them off the list. Again, we're going to stay in contact with them. Uh, keep educating them. A lot of times when someone says no, it's not really no forever. It's no, not now, or no, I need more information. Or again, timing is just not right and life tends to get in the way sometimes. But again, as we stay in contact with these people, um, a lot of times they'll start off as customers and sometimes our customers end up being our, our best partners. All right. We got to make it a habit, guys. Uh, we got to get your top 10 bios done. If you have not filled out bio sheets on your top 10 prospects, we need to get that done. That's where I would recommend everyone start, start working on their names list, um, and then we'll work together to customize approaches to get in front of your people. Um, we got to require a names list, guys. Again, our goal is to get at least 60 to 200 names um, on our names list. Um, the best way to get more people on your names list is don't prejudge them. Don't pre-qualify. Um, just if you know a person, write their name down. Um, we'll go through the process together. Um, all right, uh, we can book three-way calls as well, and we'll talk about this in more detail. We're actually going to get together and do a call workshop where we can send text messages, send Facebook messages, pick up the phone, make some phone calls, um, and, and do it together. We are looking for people who are looking for something else. You'd be surprised at how many people are looking if you just ask the right questions. So we're looking for people who are in sales or in the service industry. Um, people who are teachers or trainers or coaches, entrepreneurs, people who are experienced owning their own business. Small business owners are some of the best people to work with because they understand what type of dedication and time it takes. Um, people who have the right attitude, people who are people magnets. You all know people who are people, pe uh, people persons. Um, people who have money, uh, who are working towards making more of it. Uh, so here's our bio sheet. Uh, we're going to fill this out here. Um, we're going to make sure that we're going to talk about uh, what some of their motivation is here in the middle, right? Uh, what are their three positive characteristics? Um, what's drawing you to these people? Why are they a top uh, prospect for you? Uh, any notes on here is helpful. Um, okay, how to set appointments. One to two minute calls. First thing you got to do to set an appointment is you've got to pick up the phone. Um, you'll be surprised. It's hard to say the wrong. You, actually, it's impossible. You can't say the wrong thing to the right person. Um, all you have to do is make the contact. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to introduce yourself. Let them know the reason for your call. If this is your friend you've known for 10 years and 15 years, you know, don't be weird. Just call them like you normally call them. Let them know who it is. Hey, hey, this is Ryan. I'm just giving you a quick call. Hey, the reason for my call is I started a brand new business. I'm looking for the right people to work with. We're expanding in the area. I figured I'd give you a call because you probably know somebody who could be the right fit for me. When's a good time to get together? I could talk to you about what I'm doing. You let me know if you know the right person. That's it. Simple, right? That's called an indirect approach. It's good because it takes the pressure off them. You know, you sit down with them. They're your friend. They want to help you out. You talk to them about what you're doing. And, and look, mama didn't raise no fool. What we have here is a very powerful model for a lot of people to get what they want. And when you show that to your friend and he's either going to come up with names and possibilities of people he think you should talk to or he's going to raise his hand and say, well, what about me? Uh, this is something that I'd be interested in doing. And from there, we then start the process of helping him get his business started. Uh, but that all starts with picking up the phone, making the call, and just simply asking for help. All right, so we're selling the appointments, not the plan. Um, you know, if someone asks you what it is, what you're doing, uh, have an answer ready. A very easy and a very simple answer is I started an internet franchise. I right? started an internet franchise. It's a product brokerage internet marketing program where I teach other people how to own their own internet franchise. It's a powerful business model. We're seeing explosive growth in the area, and I'm looking for the right people to help control the growth. So 
who do you know and again go right back to it when's a good time we can get together so we can talk about uh, what I'm currently doing so you let me know if you know somebody to be a good fit for me and that's it um, but you gotta you gotta practice your answer to what is it you gotta have multiple answers to what is it you gotta be comfortable with it it's gotta sound natural can't sound canned or rehearsed uh, but first thing you do is take some time sit down write it out um, repeat it try it on people um, you know practice it out loud practice it to a mirror um, Another option, if we can't commit to or you don't get to the 10-3-2, another option is a 3-1-2 system. This is a two to three year plan. It's talking to three people a day, booking one appointment a day, and adding two names per day. So minimums, 10-3-2 is 15, point, 15 appointments a week, showing the plan four times a week. Goal is to sponsor one person a week our 312 is five appointments per week showing the plan at least once a week either showing it or, or having it or being there while someone else shows it while you're doing a, a two-on-one seeing the plan at least once a week goals to sponsor one a month and we all have to go to a training at least one time per month and this would be a new distributor training a basic five a local seminar um, all count as a training we should be in one at least once a month um, learn while we earn all right once we're starting this, our next goal is to make sure that our people and ourselves, we're registering 10 preferred customers, and we're committing to what's called a base 10 7 strong. All right, so that's through duplication. What that means, base 10 is making sure that each unfranchised owner we're working with has 10 preferred customers purchasing product from them or through their website on a monthly basis. That is going to do a couple things. Number one, having 10 customers who are buying the product on a monthly basis is going to generate positive cash flow for your business. The quickest way to get cash flow positive is developing customers. A couple ways to do that. You can market products individually. You can do it through Facebook. You can do it through text messages. You can do it through Facebook messages. People will present themselves, friends and family members. You can ask for their help. We'll talk about the Uncle Fred script here in a second. Um, or another way to develop preferred customers is by showing the plan. Most people who do not decide to open their unfranchised business do become a customer. Um, and again, that has got to be our focus. We want you to be cash flow positive within the first 90 days. So um, got to commit to doing that. Now we're talking about seven strong. That's having seven distributors duplicate this process, including yourself. So if we have seven distributors that's three unfranchised owners in our left organization three unfranchised owners in our right organization who all have 10 preferred customers purchasing from them on a monthly basis include and then ourselves our seventh one that's how we we're going to make um consistent income on a monthly basis and consistent income is the best type of income okay so that is our, our short-term goal for you guys so commit to the fast track, guys. Make sure you commit to the 1032, or you commit to being going now as a 312. Um, whichever one you're going to commit to, commit to it and stick to it, um, and we'll help you do it. So we are going to start a 90-day period. It's going to start from Monday. Um, and what I need next is to identify who we're going to be working with. Um, our maximum is 20 people. Um, our deadline for commitment is I'd like to know by Monday uh, who's ready to go. Take the Easter weekend to think about it, and we'll get going. Um, if you can't commit on Monday, get with me and let me know when you're able to commit, and we'll work something out. But I need a commitment in writing, either through Facebook is fine, comment on that status. Um, and we need to work all work on submitting then a, a goal statement. So let's talk about a vision or a goal statement. So a vision or a goal statement is very, very important to have. It's going to, when things get tough, we don't feel like doing it, we're able to read that, and that's going to allow us to uh, find that motivation when times are tough. So our goal statement is good. We want to talk about what we want to accomplish, uh, whether it's an income goal, uh, a lifestyle goal, whatever it is that we want to accomplish. Um, so my, my goal is by a August by convention of this year, I want to be a professional coordinator. That's forty-five hundred dollars in commissions in a four-week pay cycle. I, I'm going to do this by adding thirty new people to my team, hitting the president's challenge, TLS challenge, and the Nutrimetrics challenge 
Um, I'm going to do this by contacting 10 people a day, booking three appointments a day, adding two possibilities to my list, um, and then committing to uh, running the 90 day fast track with my team. So um, similar to that, you can pick an income goal, uh, a vision of where you want to be. Um, so, you know, you can set it six months out, a year from now, um, whatever fits your timeline. So mechanics of the team here, um, we're going to partner. Um, we're going to partner you guys together. I'm going to be partnering uh, with a few people. Um, we will schedule a, a weekly meeting or a weekly call. Um, and we will have a, a calendar for kickoffs. Right now, uh, every Thursday night at 7 o'clock in Trinity, we are meeting to show the plan. Um, so you can invite anyone to that unfranchised business presentation. Um, just confirm with us if you have guests that are supposed to be attending. And you guys should all attend as well, whether you have a guest or not. Because, again, we want to either see the plan being shown or show the plan at least once a week. Um, our requirements here is we want people who commit to this 90-day fast track to attend um, to attend international convention or what's called leadership school. Uh, you must commit to personally sponsoring two new people. We must communicate with our partners daily um, through Facebook, text message, or phone calls. Um, and we're going to ask, ask that you send over your momentum sheet uh, each week or post it in the Facebook group. So We ask that you must be on a weekly conference call. We must attend the monthly meeting. And the fast track is... Uh, we want to look for a minimum of seven people. We want to work between seven and ten people. So, all right. These are the basics for the three one two. You have sent over names, a minimum of three people um, of our team. So that's what we're doing together. You guys are gonna? We're, I'm taking care of that. Top ten bios is really what I need from you guys, and the new people are gonna be accountable to me. Um, So we're going to keep track of all these statistics here, guys. Um, there we go. Here are some results. This is a fast track team that was done with 131 people. Um, 225 people total, um, if you include the fast track and the 312. They, totaled, they sponsored 815 new people. They did 995 home kickoffs. They showed the plan 4,000 times. The average person sponsored 3.6 new distributors. 20% of the people that were shown the plan actually became an unfranchised owner. 76% of the people who were shown the plan became a preferred customer if they did not uh, become an unfranchised owner. And there's 5,000 people remaining on their possibility list. So, so we did show the plan three out of four times one-on-one. -on -one. We have to learn how to show the plan one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one. -on -one. And one out of five people that we showed the plan to became a business partner. Four out of five became preferred customers. And there's more in the funnel with their follow-up process. The numbers will still go up. So remember the consequence and or the reward consequences. You're off the team if you don't do it. Reward, we get growth, teamwork, uh, recognition. So make it work for you. Create a habit and reap the rewards. Thanks, guys.